Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full 12 box case of 2023 Panini Select Baseball. This is pick your team number two. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on Monday the 16th, 2023. Here's pick your team two. Steven, you got Last Pot Mojo Star next to your name 70% of the time, 100% of the time. If you got Prism 5 next to your name, that means you won that team in, the, uh, in that filler pack that we just did in the previous video. So, hey, however you got in, thank you for getting in. Appreciate it. There's everybody right there. There's the fresh case right over here. Let's see what we got. box. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six in the back right there and another six in the foreground right over here. Looking for ultra rare zebra prisms. Hobby exclusive scope. We're looking for two autographs, two memorabilia cards per box on average as they always say. Bobby Wood Jr. on the box and good luck. Myself a little extra room over here. All right, good luck everybody, and thanks for the fill. Um, let's see. Well, now our final game. Look at that. After six games, if you said the Raiders would be in second, my, my Raiders would be in second place. I would, I would have been like amazing. Somehow, somehow it happened that way. Well, now that the Monday night football game is over, Cowboys beat the Chargers 20 to 17. I had a little investment on the Cowboys, minus one and a half, so that worked out nicely. I also, I don't do these a lot, but I did have a, a, a little six point teaser on a number of games, and I had the Chargers plus seven and a half, I think. So I kind of threaded the needle there. Um, Chiefs beat the, uh, so on Thursday, so let's, let's kind of recap the football week. I know this is a baseball break, but it's only, only two games today. Uh, Thursday night, Chiefs beat the Broncos 19 to eight. Sort of a slow game, but, but they got the business done. In uh, another game in London, Ravens at Titans. Well, Ravens versus Titans. Titans were the, considered the home team, but the Ravens beat the Titans 24 to 16. And then, uh, and then you know what? In the ne well, I'm ripping open the next box. We'll go through some more some more games. All right, good luck, everybody. So these are the scopes, right there. They're not numbered, but they're about one per box. And we got a Bobby Wood Jr., the guy in the box, 18 out of 49, jersey and autograph. Nice little color match there too. And that will be for D, Y, and the KC Royals. Nice, good start. And we'll do a little recap at the end as well. You know what, I'm gonna need more 100 topplers, hang on. So nice start with the Bobby Wood Jr. Get the 
was organized next to me over there. All right, and onwards. We got a cool tie-dye here, Goose Goslin. 20 out of 25. Uh, Washington. So there was I, there was a national a Washington team that turned into the uh, Twins, and then there was a Nationals team that turned into I think this Washington team was the one that turned into the Twins. Yeah, now known as the Twins. I think there was another Washington team maybe after this, maybe in the 60s or something like that, that turned into the Rangers maybe? Anyway. That tie dies for Minnesota, and that's going to go out to uh, Mark with the Twins. We got Emmanuel Rodriguez, jersey and autograph, also for the Twins. There you go, Mark. Red, white, and blue, not numbered. James Wood. And another twin, that's Brooks Lee. Big piece of the jersey right there for Mark and the Minnesota Twins. That's 43 out of 49. And we got a lime green Jim Tomei, Cleveland edition. And that'll be for DY. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that select. And restock on uh, some of those blank cards. An unstoppable, not numbered. There's Micka Bell to 149. And we got Jace Young. Rookie Relic for Detroit. That'll be for Caitlin and Motor City. Make a bell going to Mark and the Phillies. All right. Another box. All right, some other NFL games. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here. Washington beat the Commanders 24-16. to a red zone interception by Desmond Ritter. It wasn't good. Vikings beat the uh, Bears 19-13. to Justin Fields looks like he's going to be out this week. Byron Murphy's interception seals the victory for the Vikings. Seahawks at Bengals. Bengals beat the Seahawks 17 to 13. What a weird game. Browns beat the Niners 19 to 7. A miss on a game, a potentially game winning field goal by the Niners sealed the victory for the Browns. Dolphins looks like they're cruising. They're 5 and 1. They're dropping 42 on the Panthers. They look pretty good. In Jacksonville, Jaguars beat the Colts 37 to 20. Anthony Richardson for the Colts might be out for the remainder of the year, which which sucks. Texans beat the Saints 20 to 13. My Raiders beat the Patriots 21 to 17. Rams beat the Cardinals 26 to 9. Jets, there's another little upset here. Jets beating the Eagles 20 to 14. 
Lions beat the Buccaneers 20 to six. And uh, Sunday Night Football was a little, little bit of a slow one. Bills beat the Giants 14 to nine. Sort of an odd week, some upsets, but you know, that's football. Any given Sunday, Monday, or Thursday. Grayson Rodriguez, Alexander with the Orioles. It's a good start. Rookie auto, 73 out of 99. And some gold. That's early win, two out of 10. For the old Cleveland Indians. It's gonna to go to DY who has the Guardians. Nice, the gold's really pop nicely in this. We got a uh, another Cleveland Guardian, that's Gavin Williams, Youth Explosion. Kaboom. That is 44 out of 49. We got How You Lee. Rookie jersey for Philadelphia. It's going to be for Mark. Flip, 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 Philadelphia. That was the uh, the Flip Cup team on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. There's Junior Caminero, 70 out of 75, Tampa Bay, Alexander. Chris's Steelers didn't lose this week. Woo! What a week for the Steelers. Yeah, I was really gearing up for this absolute bloodbath. I mean, <laughs> you guys are undefeated versus bye. Never lost. <laughs> Never lost versus. Never lost, folks. Never lost versus bye. You heard it here first. There's a uh, Hack Wilson, 12 out of 149. No one's ever done it quite like the Pittsburgh Steelers. No, not not on a bye week. There's Diego Cartaya, still Dodgers edition there. Yeah, Chris Jaspi in the background. He's he's on the Fanatics live stream on Mondays now with Mr. Michael Jaspi. Dylan, let's go! All right, uh, I guess I'll keep, finish off the boxes up front. Yeah, so another another week of NFL in the books. Chris, who do your Steelers have next week? The Los Ooh, Angeles. they are in Los Angeles. I'm going to. Are you going to that game? It's my first Steelers game. Ooh, nice. Love a win. Absolutely love. You should write a you should write a uh, write a book. My first Steelers game could be a children's book. You can write it for future Steelers fans. Mm -hmm. My first Steelers game by Chris Jaspi. Well, the early line has the Rams as uh, at minus three. Hmm. Not sure who I take in that game. Minus three. That's a, interesting. It's a pretty, pretty even game. I do have some trends for you that may not make Chris. Jazz be very happy. Yeah. What's the charges blow it? I want the Astros lose today. I want the D Dogs lose today. And now you want to bring my mood down to what? Stats? Yeah, no, maybe I won't give that to you. Because I don't think any of these trends apply to your team. Fake news. Fake news. All right. If they were a road favorite, it'd be a little different. Also, I really, I'm sure as you know, this happened tonight. I did not wait uh, the Los Angeles thing to have a quote unquote home field advantage. 
They do not. Steelers will travel well. It'll, it'll be like 70-30 Steelers. Yeah. Games, I mean, so. the, I'm, wa I'm watching this Cowboys game, oh, it's and it's just like it's even worse. Yeah. It sounded like a like Cowboys. It sounded like a Cowboys home game. It's, uh, you know, it is a tough one for the Chargers fans. Here's Marcelo Meyer, gold rookie auto. Ooh, nice. Nice, indeed, for Jonathan and the Bow Sox. That's to 10, four out of 10. Don't be shocked if he maybe makes the opening day roster show wow. next year. There you go. You heard it here first. Here's the Duke. Duke Snyder, 25 out of 25 tie dye. For Gamsby and the Dodgers. Oh, the tie dye is a, a highlight of select. They pop nicely. There's no hassles here. This is Robert Hassel. Youth explosion. Thanks, Chris. Justin Martin got the national straight up. Gets a hassle free auto. 14 out of 99. I guess it is a hassle. That's more like it. It's the only time you want a hassle. A Robert hassle. We got another Jace Young relic for Detroit. That's going to go to Caitlin. That's Josh's little brother. That's right. We got JT Ginn, 44 out of 75 for the A's. That'll be for Chris. Some rookie revolutions. We've got a Brennan Davis to 149. And behind GM Pat Gillick is another Diego Cartaya relic. Piece of the jersey for Gamsby and the Dodgers. Possibly your your future uh, your future catcher for the Dodgers, maybe in a season or two. Basically, whenever Austin Barnes' contract runs out. Might be Diego, Diego Cartaya time. All right, another box. Next box, we've got a Judd Fabian, 118 out of 149. we got a tie-dye, Drew Romo. To 25 for the Rocks. That's going to go to Nathaniel. And we've got a Masataka Yoshida relic for the Bow Sox. Jonathan.
And we got another Marcelo Meyer, rookie jersey and auto. Another one for the Bow Sox. Jonathan, Jonathan, there you go, Boston. What are you doing here? Are you wasting labels here? Yeah, I wasted 90 labels. Oh no, why are, we, why are you printing 90 labels? Oh no. Oh my Oh no. Brother, this guy Tom, terrific to 149. We're just keeping those label companies in business. And we got an Emmanuel Rodriguez, rookie jersey and autograph, Minnesota. That'll be for Mark in Minnesota. We'll put this one in the bag. Six out of 99. Can we print labels in the Fanatics room now? Is that what I'm saying? I don't hear it. You could. If you want to, but that machine is quirky too, because you have to hold like a little sensor I'm next to next to the I'm wheel while it doing. while it rolls. Or you can just print it from this computer after I'm you done. Waste ninety of them, yeah. I can do that too, maybe. That's all right. Those labels are cheap. We buy them by the buy them by the truckload anyway. At the rate the, we're buying them at. The dual case. Yeah, I know how you feel. You and I, 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 I did, did, a, did a duel as well. Dueled with a duel. You know what the crazy thing about this Rodon, Homer? That was, for all intents and purposes, a good pitch. Yeah, Jordan Alvarez is is, is just a machine. He's and a, he, it wasn't he's even a really playoff rare. monster. And he hit it 111 miles off the bat. Yeah. He's just a machine. They should they should check to see if he has has like mechanical he, parts. He really is in like him. Work, he's just clutch. Let's see. So Chris's Steelers are in town. Where do you think they're staying, Chris? Should we go say hi to some of the Steelers? Players? I really, I don't know about any of that stuff. Although I will say, you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna uh, tweet or X at any of these players and say, hey, come to Jaspies, hang out on Saturday? I don't you... know if things have changed, and I don't know if it's a team to team thing. But when I was doing Uber like 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. I picked up some dude at one of the hotels near the Lumble Mall in Torrance, like 15 minutes away. I don't remember which one, obviously, but you know, I picked him up. He was young, like probably like my age at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty big, you know, it's like, oh, this guy must just work out, you know, LA, they like to keep in shape around. Sure. And just making small talks at the hotel, I'm like, oh, what are you doing in town? I'm like, um, playing. Oh, playing, what we do? Yeah, I'm on the I'm on the Tennessee Titans. Oh. What? And look, he was like some fourth rounder for the Titans. Wow. He was like actually playing. He was a corner. It's Anthony Gutierrez Zebra for it was, the Rangers. It was some way. I was like, oh shit. Hey, good for you, bud. Congrats. Brian Crouch with the Rangers, South Free League. He was in the league for like three months at this point, you know, still just ordering the ropes. He wanted to get snacks at the 7-Eleven. That's it. Huh. He was like, do you think you can just go to 7-Eleven and take me back? I'm like, yeah, sure. He'd make like a $10 too. Appreciate it. John Smoltz to 149. Huh. You remember what the person's name? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't even know if it was the Titans. I don't even know if that was the year, but... I think you'll have to, we'll have to, have to find him, hang out. Let's see, uh, sometimes, well, no, I don't know about sometimes, but I know that when the Raiders had a co... had a camp with somebody, with a, a team, <laughs> Chargers maybe? Yeah. That they stayed at the West Riff in Manhattan Beach. Oh, I, I was like, I would imagine like just kind of a, it's a nice right spot, right? Just get, you know, just get a bunch of fans hounding you and everything. Right. So I would assume like people just do different places to avoid stuff like that. Right. Because you know fans are monsters. I would, if I was a pro athlete, I would not want to be. Eddie Murray to 149. Heading back from a restaurant or, you know, other establishments. Yeah, no might to see some fan in town. No, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks. I don't want that. Just, man, I, we, we already get hounded already from, you know, hey, that's, 
Chris Jaspies from Jaspies. Oh, oh my God. And, and like, I can't imagine how many times there's Mason went for the Cardinals, Alexander. How many times I'm trying to eat a meal at the uh, at the local steakhouse. Yeah. And I'm always just like, hey. It's all for like, me compared to like, oh my God. Like oh my God, Joe Jaspi, you're on YouTube. And I was like, yeah, I'm on YouTube. Woo woo. It's like, yeah, I know. Woo woo. <laughs> you know? It's, it's tough. It's, it's, and then it's just like, can I get your autograph, man? It's like, all right, you know, I'm trying to have some dinner with my friends here. You know, but it's like, oh, come on, don't big time me, Joe Jaspi. And it's like. Next thing you know, you're on Sports Car Radio. Yeah, I know. And it's that Joe, Joe doesn't. Give out autographs, thirty-seven nine ninety-nine Owen White it's for the Rangers. It's like you know when the late great Chadwick Boseman first got the black and the game, and he was flashing Wakanda forever. Oh, uh, he loved it I, all the time, it. everywhere. And you can see pictures of like, him the, doing it, like as right the, in the middle, and then as, as the, the years, years go on, on it's like uh, that smile fades. The light. It's like the, the, I know when you're when you're asked to do that a million yeah. times. The redemption is is Ricky Henderson. Ooh. Wow. Select swatch nice. signatures. Come on, Ricky. Why aren't you signing these cards? Man, it's deal. Ricky doesn't. Ricky doesn't. Yeah, Ricky signs cards when Ricky wants to sign cards. Uh, let's see. What version of Ricky Anderson is this? Card twenty-three. Yeah. Select swatch signatures. Card number twenty-three. Ricky Anderson, Oakland A's edition. As it should be. As it should be. Chris Butler with the A's. Sometimes they'll hit you with like. Yeah, that's right. Real Chrissy B. The real Chrissy B. Sometimes they'll hit you with like a, a Yankees Ricky Henderson. My Not even that. My favorite for like something like Dynasty is just like, here's Padres Ricky Henderson. Oh yeah, they'll do it. They will hit that's, you with the Padres I think, Ricky Henderson. I think it's funny seeing... Like, now Ricky usually signs. Yeah, Ricky usually signs. So hopefully he'll get that redemption yeah. fairly quickly. Because I feel like he... He doesn't fail to sign an auto. He's a, live in most sets. As an observer, I think that that can be kind of funny. If I had the A's and a break, and all of a sudden there's like a one-on-one Ricky Henderson, and it's going to like... What's what another... The Dodgers. Dodgers, yeah. Dodgers, Dodgers Ricky Henderson. Henderson. I would be a little upset. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd be, be upset bad. too. Top's trying to get funny with it sometimes. Something with like Pedro, like not even like Mets Pedro, Philly Pedro. Oh no! Yeah, on. don't do that. Sometimes you'll get that with like diamond icons, because it'll it'll yeah, just it'll just be like way. it'll be like. Um, Tampa Bay Rays weight Boggs. Right, it'll be like three thousand hits, and I guess what Boggs technically got, I think, is three thousand hit as a yes. Devil Ray, so it'll commemorate that. And you're like, oh, really? Three hundredth win, Randy Johnson for the San Francisco. Giants. Right, and you're like, oh dear. I would be a little annoyed, for sure. I get it. But, you know, for sharp collectors, Chris, they would have looked at the checklist earlier, purchased both teams. Absolutely. Don't risk it. Grab your teams. The dual auto ones are the, are the worst. It's like someone will buy, like, you know, like the, it'll be like a Mike Trout Ken Griffey Jr. dual auto. And they'll buy, like, the, they'll buy the Angels for, like, you know, six hundred dollars and like a dynasty break. I'm just like, why not just buy the two hundred dollar Mariners at this point? If you're already that same, much in, avoid the randomizer, when avoid we, the heartache. When we would do breaks on other platforms and we would do like PYT stuff, you would have. One, I saw a couple times that where one person grabbed two teams on like a triple threats break. Who would grab the Yan the example is the Yankees and the Mariners. And not the Angels for Otani because they wanted any triple relics of Hideo Hideki Matsui, mm. Ichiro, and Shohei, but wouldn't grab all three, but only grab oh, two. Man. And it would happen where the randomizer did would it, go did to it the pop? Angels. Oh, man. Like, that's a why, rough one. Why, why I get the third. Like, if you Jackson know, Holiday, that's going to go to Alexander and the Orioles. Like, yeah, I know why that get the most third? Of the time, those three teams, as, a, as an example, are pretty expensive, but like, if you're going to go for it, you might as well go 100%. How are we saying this name? 38 out of 149. Cooper Jerpy? Cooper Herpy. Herpy? Yeah. Herpy. It's actually pretty good. St. Louis. That's going to be for Alexander. You got early win to 75. 
There's Juan Bin Cho. Alexander with St. Louis. Wow. Oh, Michael Jaspi putting down the law, He's laying down the law. A tank. Laying down the law. I mean, I was pack sacking for that dual case, but I feel like doing the break itself is. 23 Ooh, at 99, yeah. Masataka Yoshida. I think he'll get AL Roy votes, right? He'll finish like top five. Yeah, he might he be. If the voters know what they're doing, which sometimes they don't. Jonathan, he should finish. with the Red Sox, yeah, he should be on TV. He'll, he'll be, he'll very be very one, of, he'll, he'll be one of the three boxes on MLB Network. Yeah. <laughs> Nice hit, though. I feel like just you know, listening out of the... K-Line to 149. Yeah, so far. Really, so far so good. Wilmer Flores, rookie jersey and autograph for Detroit. Motown. That'll be for Kaylin. Fifty-seven out of ninety-nine. Al Kaline will also go to Caitlin. Is Al Kaline Mr. Tiger or is Alan Trammell Mr. Tiger? Uh, it should be K-Line. K-Line? Or Trammell. Now, Chris, there are some teams that have a Mr. So-and-so. Uh -huh. The Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks. Yeah, of course. Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn. Of course. Either K-Line or Trammell, Mr. Tiger. Do, the, do our Dodgers have a Mr.? Um, you know, that's a good point. I've actually thought about this throughout my life as a Dodgers fan. There's no, like, not a lot of great, great players that have played for, you know, throughout the history of the Dodgers. I guess you can point on maybe Jackie Robinson and maybe Sammy Koufax, but, like, they weren't really there as long as you would imagine to with Roy Campanella. I think I would say, like, I think in our case, Mr. Dodger, I think it would be Tommy Lasorda. Espe yeah, or Vin. When, or Vin, when they were alive, because but, it was... Because the main thing is that, like... Those teams that have like Misters Whatevers yeah. are teams that have stayed in one location for their entire Right. We didn't move. Which which right. And Tommy Lasor has been there since we moved. So it's been. Through yeah. So like, and then we won those two guys. Yeah. Frank saying Frank is saying Tim Salmon is Mr. Angel. Yeah, what's your That's team? True. What are can you think of any other Misters? In baseball, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, Mr. Twin really should be on the Kilbrin, is what I think of. The White Sox should really have one. The Rockies should be Todd Helton. The National no, Larry, should be Larry Walker. Yeah. I think he's the only Hall of Famer for the Colorado Rockies. Yeah, but right. he split his career in a few different That's true. He was he with the X, but yeah, 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 that's he true. That's true. He was on the uh, Federal 14. Mm. Uh, Todd Helson, then Todd Helson, yeah. Ryan Zimmerman for the Nationals. Then it gets weird because they were the Senators before. And right. Walter Jones. But I guess Zimmerman could be Mr. National. Drafted by the Nationals during their inaugural year and then ended the career with the Nationals. I mean, unless I'm really missing someone, I don't think a lot of teams have a designated they don't, Mr. They don't got a designated, yeah, a lot of teams don't have a designated Mr., at least not a popular one. Yeah. Where even casual or like non-fan to that team will know who their other yeah. Mr. is. Cause also, because especially for a lot of like really historic franchises like the Dodgers, like the Yankees, like the Cardinals, like there are so many Hall of Famers. Right, that's hard to apply a Mister to it. Like, is is Mister Yankee Babe Ruth? Is it Gary DiMaggio, Mantle, Jeter, Jeter yeah. Mo? Like, I don't know. It's weird. There's Jordan Lawler, DY and the Diamondbacks, one ninety nine. Or it could be like a bench guy, like. Like, when I remember as a kid growing up, I didn't know anything about him, but I feel like every Jackson time I Joe to a game, for Detroit, they would, like, celebrate a Dodgers old time where it was always, right. like, Mickey Mona, who was like, just, like, a pinch hitter. He was, like, right. the best pinch hitter of all time, but, like, he was just a pinch hitter. We got Andy Rodriguez to 149. That will be for Pittsburgh. How about the, uh, how about the fire Canada chance? in Pittsburgh Penguin yeah, games. I was so happy. <laughs> I, was, I, was so, I was like, that city is unified the, in uh, Fire Canada. I don't watch a lot of hockey, but hockey is kind of the only sport where I watch where, like, I hate literally every other team that's not the Kings. Right. So I hate Penguin fans by default. I hate the Penguins. Right, right, right. I was so proud as a Steelers fan of that Pittsburgh Penguins <laughs> thing. I was so that proud. was That city is unified in Firing Matt Canada. Football. 
I mean, it might those chants might happen once the pirate season starts. If he's still if he's still employed. Yeah. Here's Edgar Martinez. That will be for Seattle. That's gonna go to Alexander. Sam Crawford to 149. That'll be for Detroit. Fire Canada. There is Hunter Brown to 75. That's for the Strohs. And a Bobby Miller redemption just popping. Not flipped around like they usually are. Rookie jersey autograph silver prism for my Dodgers. Gamsey with the Dodgers. Great season for Bobby Miller. I think, I mean, I didn't think they wanted to call him up that early, but did because of injuries, necessity, forced the call up and had a pretty nice season. So hopefully bigger and better things for him as well. The evolution of his game continues in the off season and spring training. All right, another box. How many, or uh, who are my Raiders playing is what I meant to say. Raiders are in Chicago, the Justin field list Chicago. Raiders are road favorites at minus three. The, the total for that game, this is, this is what Vegas thinks about the Raiders and Bears. The total for the game is 37 and a half. That's gotta be the lowest. At, at the moment, that's got to be easily the lowest. Yeah, it's easily the lowest. <laughs> Believe it or not, the Raiders' defense has actually kept them in, in games. Raiders' offense, I think up until last weekend or yesterday when they s scored like 20 points, I think they are averaging like 16, 17 points a game. Not good. Especially when the offense was supposed to be their strong, their strong suit. And Jimmy Garoppolo might not be playing. He got hit in the ribs really hard. They initially were concerned about maybe some internal organ injuries. So they said they sent him to the hospital. Had him looked at, but I think I think he's fine. No internal injuries, which is good, but my playing might be up in the air on Sunday. To 149, Whitey Herzog for the Cardinals. Oh, no, no starting quarterbacks for either team, so yeah, I guess, I guess the total would be that low. We got uh, some gold here. Two out of ten, Mike Piazza, Mets edition, going to going to Ryan Lynn. We got Kevin Parada, also for the Mets jersey and autograph. I feel like I read a a. Uh, a Keith Law article on The Athletic. And he had watched some games. In the Arizona Fall League said Kevin Prado was looking good, I think. Or maybe not looking good. I think he had a good minor league year though. I think he was mentioning that sometimes it's hard to evaluate catchers in the Arizona Fall League because they've, you know, it's a demanding position. They've been catching a lot of games. Paul Canerico, White Sox autograph, yes! Select Company. That's for Steve Becker, Chicago White Sox. Nice. A player that I wish the Dodgers would have kept ages ago. 
Nat LeJoy to 149. And we got Ellie Dela Cruz jersey. Maybe we're getting warmer. Who has the Reds? Chris Butler with the Reds. Maybe we're getting warmer, Chris. This is a start. This is the wrong soft sleeve. This is the correct one. We got Andy Rodriguez, a big piece of his jersey. Chris Butler with the Pirates. All right, another box. What other notable games are happening in the NFL? Jaguars at Saints. Okay. On Thursday night, that's okay, I guess. We talked about Ra Raiders at Bears. Browns at Colts. Mm -hmm. Bills at Patriots. Mm -hmm. Commanders at the Giants. Mm -hmm. Falcons at Buccaneers. Eh. Lions at Ravens. Eh. Steelers at Rams. We got bird on bird action here. Cardinals at Seahawks. Packers at Broncos. Chargers at Chiefs. Wow, just no nothing as a casual or as not a casual fan as a as a neutral. None of these games pop out at me except for. The Sunday night football game, Dolphins at Eagles. Your five and one Dolphins at your five and one Eagles. Sunday night football, primetime game. Eagles are favored by just a point and a half. The total is 52. That's a pretty high total. All right. So hopefully that'll be a good game. We don't want any duds on Sunday night. And the Monday night game is Niners at Vikings, which is also whatevs. There's David Wells to 149. Anyone have any early thoughts on Dolphins at Eagles? Both decent defenses. Both could could feature some high powered offense. It's Hack Wilson for Chicago. This will be a little bit of a in store rivalry game, ladies and gentlemen. And here's Diego Cartaya autograph. Nice, nice. Hopefully we'll see him. Uh, in in the Dodgers plans next spring. Nice. I think I was trying to say youth and nice at the same time. We got 80 out of 99. It's for Gamsby and the Dodgers. But uh, Ted Jaspi is a Dolphins fan. And Nick Jaspi, his pop, and Jason Jaspi, all Philadelphia Eagles fans. Vanessa's an Eagles fan, too. There's Tink Hentz. That's for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Alexander. So I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll have a friendly wager on that game. Sixteen out of one forty nine. Mario Soto. And we got a Mariano Rivera. 
piece of the jersey for uh, seven out of 49, that is. Game worn. Nice. According to the uh, ESPN Analytics uh, matchup predictor, for whatever that's worth, after I show you Sal Freelich, going to Brian Crouch, they have the Dolphins winning 58.6% of the time. It's almost 60-40. It's interesting. And Vegas has the Eagles as favorites, minus one and a half. Something's got to give. Someone's gonna. Someone's gonna be six and one. Someone's gonna be five and two. Well, no, unless they tie. Imagine if that game ended in a tie. Well, this is a baseball break. So let's let's take a quick look at what happened today. Uh, in the early game, Rangers in Houston, they win. They hold off a bit of a comeback from the a late game comeback from the Astros. Rangers get out of Houston, leading five, uh, winning five four, leading the series two nothing. Is this series over, ladies and gentlemen? Are the Rangers going to sweep the Astros? Next two games are in Dallas or Arlington. For Fort Worth, same difference. Wow, Travis and Jason Kelsey at the Phillies game. Phillies beat the Dimebacks 5-3 in game one. But uh, no, uh, no Taylor Swift joined the brothers in the baseball game. Maybe she was busy. There's Miguel Blis, seven out of 25, tie dye. Willie Cam to 149. And we've got Yuri Perez, rookie auto for the fish. That'll be for William. for the Phillies, Jimmy Rollins. Remember him? Phillies fans remember him. Jersey and autograph. Nice Jimmy Rollins. I think he was a Dodger for a second, too. And goes to Mark and the fighting Phils. Phillies Rangers World Series. Sal Freelich to 75. As a neutral fan, would I like seeing Phillies? Phillies? Yeah, Rangers? I think so. Here's a nice Tamar Johnson to 10. Chris Butler and the Pirates, five out of 10. One of, uh, one of, the, one of the Pirates is up and coming players there. Nice little color match with the gold.
And we've got a, another Emmanuel Rodriguez piece of the jersey going to Mark and the Twins. All right, two boxes to go. Here is the penultimate box. Let's see, whatever, what do we have baseball-wise tomorrow, Tuesday? Just one game tomorrow. That will be 507 Pacific, 807 Eastern, Diamondbacks at Phillies. We do have starting pitchers at Merrill Kelly versus Aaron Nola. That's why I do that check. Sometimes a slight pack will fall to its side. The ESPN Analytics Magic Predictor has the Phillies winning 57.6% of the time. Merrill Kelly, I feel like, has had a pretty solid season. Should be a good pitching duel here. Carl to 149. Got another Diego Cartaya this time. Yeah, with ink, jersey, and autograph. Gamsby with the Dodgers. Got another Tamar Johnson, this time just more of a plain relic there. Not numbered. Vlad Guerrero, senior. Montreal edition, of course, Montreal stuff goes to Justin Martin and the Nationals. Expo stuff goes to the Nats. Nice. We got another thick one coming up here. Here's Hans Lobert to 25. Tie-dye for St. Louis, that's for Alexander. And we got a Ty Madden. Cracked ice, big two color patch. Detroit, Kalen with the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. That is eight out of 23. Got Walter Ford, 75. And then we got a Roderick Arias in the back there. Last box coming up. By the time I'm done with the final box, and I've been taking my time a little bit on this break too, just because I don't think anything's sold out after this. I don't think any, no other orders coming in here. But if you want a little more baseball, I think the easiest thing that we can do is the Panini Immaculate Baseball, first off the line edition. It's a division break, and I think there's only, well, I think someone got a spot, so I think there's only five of six divisions left. 
Yeah, there's five of six left, and that'd be a pretty easy way to, uh, I mean, don't need too many people. I'm gonna drop a link in the chat, but it'd be a pretty easy break to do. Kind of add that to the, uh, to our list of breaks today. I mean, I think we've got multiple boxes, so we could probably run that back. We can run that back a couple times. Obviously, when we post the next one, if you buy all six spots, that could be a personal box if you're interested in doing a personal break. I guess if you buy all 30 spots in 2023 Topps Chrome Sapphire Baseball, that's a five box personal break as well. If you're feeling a little frisky, So there's some options on the site for the last hour of the show. Thanks everybody. All right, last box of the 12 box break. The red, white, and blue is not numbered. And we're gonna get us Tyler Soderstrom, rookie jersey and autograph. Another catcher auto, 80 out of 99. I'm a man, I'm 80. That's gonna go to Chris Butler. There's Babe Herman, 61 out of 149. And then take it to the house, Brady House. Nice patch, cracked ice, rookie relic for the Nacionals. That'll be for Justin. Seventeen out of twenty-three. There's Emmanuel Rodriguez, piece of the jersey for the Twins, Mark. Ralph Kiner for the Pirates, one forty-nine. Some gold, we got some gold. Moose Skoron. Big Moose Skoron, eight out of 10 for the Yankees. William. And I think that's it. Oh, we got, do we get one more thing here? Ooh, an autograph, one more autograph. That's Harry Ford. Youth Explosion Auto for Seattle. Alexander won that team in the filler and gets the backstop, Harry Ford. Nice. Nice, all right. Thanks everybody, that's uh, 12 box Picker Team 2. Picker Team 3 in the store right now. If you wanna pick up some spots, that'll most likely go off tomorrow. Here's a quick little recap from tonight's break. Some gold, some nice color, some nice players. Got a lot of nice parallels as well. Could, could get a lot of different color. There's Bobby Miller. And a pretty, pretty fun break. A lot of, lot of hits. There's, there's the Yoshida. That was the Ricky Henderson. These are the short prints. Gold Marcelo Meyer. So a lot of great stuff here. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us. That's how we started. I'm Joe for Jaspies Casebreaks.com. I will see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.